Good morning, fellow DARE adventurers. Um, following on from some really kind suggestions from both Hazel and Tanya, I'd like to spend the next two minutes or so talking about where my Diamond Days came from, what I'm trying to achieve with it, why I'm trying to achieve it, and then maybe see if I can get some advice from you guys as to how I can get this website and this idea out into the world. Um, just to start with, it's a reasonably personal story. I, about three years ago, I was in the middle of lots of deadlines. I'm a novelist and I was in the middle of a deadline for our third novel. Anybody who has written novels knows that's pretty stressful. I was also renovating a house with my husband who was an architect. Um, and I had three, had three small kids, the youngest of whom was about one or two, and of course not sleeping. So, you know, it was a pretty stressful, busy time, but I thought I had it reasonably under control. And I kept thinking that right up until one day, just like any other day, I head on, headed off, it was about 2.30, I headed off to go and get my middle son from what was at the time his kindy. And I stopped in there, did all the same things I normally did, and I was chatting with one of the, t the teachers at the kindy, and she asked me about my eldest son. And suddenly it was as if my brain froze. I couldn't remember his name, I couldn't remember what school he was at, and then things started to get worse. I couldn't remember my existing son who was right in front of me. I couldn't remember his name. And I looked around it on the walls and I couldn't read the words that were on the walls. And as you can imagine, the poor people at the kindy thought I was clearly having some sort of seizure. And um, they called my husband who I blessedly did remember his name. He turned up really quickly. I went and had every test known to man and nobody could find anything wrong. And it was blessedly not a stroke or anything. It was too much stress. And my brain had just said, you know what? can't cope anymore you need to treat me better and it was such a shocking wake-up call if you like and so and it suddenly dawned on me that you know I exercise my body I eat well I look after my kids well I know all those logistical things but I don't know how to look after my mind I don't know how to slow my mind down so the most logical port of call for the next thing was of course to um, go and learn to meditate that was what you know an obvious place to start and as soon as I, I read some books about it did a little bit of research as soon as I sat down my brain almost took over and the thoughts would whirl and it was actually really painful and distracting and anything back but calming and the more I did it the more frustrated I became and the more difficult it was and I realized that I just was totally incapable of meditating that I had somehow let this mind of mine get totally out of control and it was like a badly behaved Labrador, if you like. And, you know, anybody who's ever had one of them knows that they get out of control and it's really hard to get them back under control. So I did more research. I really didn't want to forget the name of my kids again because I, you know, it's amazing how that focuses the mind. And so I started finding guided meditations and I put headphones on and I listened to them and slowly I was able to use the meditations to teach myself to calm down. But I was finding I was spending a lot of time sifting through various meditations online. Some of them were really weird. Some of them were really hippie, for want of a better word. Some of them were pretty kooky. Um, and some of them were wonderful. But I was spending hours and hours of time that I just didn't have tracking down meditations that worked for me. And getting lost in forums on Buddhism and various things like that. And what I didn't want was to know more about Buddhism. I, I'm fairly strong in my what my religious beliefs are, which is not the point of this talk. What I wanted was a tool to help my mind be calm and to help me live a happier life. So enter my diamond days. I decided if no one else was going to do it, I was going to do it. And I went out, created a website and contacted hundreds of meditation specialists from all over the world. And you know what? Almost all of them have said that they want to participate. So the idea is that I get different meditation specialists. Some of them have a Buddhist background. Some of them have a New Age background. Some of them have a fairly scientific background. And I'm amalgamating them all on the site. And, that some, and subscribers come to the site, sign up. And each day I send a different meditation, a different 10 minute meditation at five o'clock in the morning, pops into their inbox. All anybody has to do is log in either into their smartphone or into their laptop or their computer, put the headphones in 10 to 15 minutes and they've done a meditation from lots of different schools and they can start the day feeling good, a bit like a run, you know. Um, and 
the reaction I've had from everybody who's done it has been universally wonderful, which is fantastic. My goal now, I've got a website. It's a reasonably simple website, but it works. And my goal now is to tell more people about it. And I guess that's where you guys come in. How do you think is the best way to promote it? Should I be giving some away? Should I be... I made the decision to make it a subscriber-based website because I... Um, I think people respect things more when they pay for it, even if it's a nominal amount. And there's a lot of free meditations online, but I want this to be a commitment that people make because it is frustrating and it is hard. And there are lots of reasons that people, that you don't have that 10 minutes in the day. Um, so that's me, that's my diamond days. Um, the reason for the name of the website, I'll just quickly tell you, is because when I had my first son, who, his name's Finn, now I really do remember, um, he, we used to walk, you know, arsenic out, anybody who's had, who's had babies. In the afternoons, I'd meet up with a friend who used to live new, near us. And each day we'd get, as we were pushing our prams towards each other, I'd kind of look at her and say, was it a diamond day or a stone day? And it goes back to the the um, saying, some days are diamonds and some days are stone. And I think if everybody could do a 10-minute meditation every day, there would be a lot more diamond days in it. And that's where the name of it came from. So I'd really love to hear anybody's thoughts. Um, please feel free to contact me. Um, and I'm really hoping to hear some good stuff. Thank you. Bye.